Six are just suggested shares and hobbies, and we're putting together a book here of all the instructions of the models I did. Stay tuned. So we got it all together here, and we put this inside. There's a slip and sleeve in the front for about six dollars for this binder, another six for the sleeves themselves inside. You can make this project. So let's open it up. Okay, it's the first page. These are all my instructions. The electrical instructions over here and some cards for, you know, writing into the companies for parts and things. And uh, that's Dracula, Mr. Hyde, I did The Witch, Phantom of the Opera. This one right here, Nes Nesotuo. The ghost. I wired this one with, uh, with a light. King Kong's Thronster. That was fun. Dick Tracy. I put some on the opposite side as well. Uh, Mommy's Chariot. I left that all glow in the dark. The Green Lantern. That was very colorful. Other side was uh, Robin. And uh, this is the best way to really preserve uh, these instructions. You don't want to seal them in, you know, uh, a seal wrap. You want to use a book like this. Batman. He's another neat one. Came out good. Catwoman. I'm waiting for, looking for um, that girl. I have found it, so... That'll be coming, forthcoming. The ghost, the invisible man, I mean. He was tough because the hand is uh, tough to do. Monster, uh, Herman Munster, Grandpa, King Kong. I did. The mummy, the switching mummy. Uh, Jolly Pirate. This is another... Oil lights, they move. His uh, cape goes up, but I didn't get it to work. Tough one to do. Um, instruction to the other side. Girl. Mump switching mummy. Haunted manor. That was fun to do. That was really funny. Pops out of the coffin. Jolly uh, Roger Hex. March the spot. And the insect from, um, what do you call it? Monster scenes. Another changing vampire. Uh, detailed instructions on the changing vampire. I saved. Another changing vampire. I did two of those. Actually, two or three of them. I did three of these. They're fun to do. Maybe four. I got instructions for four. Godzilla, he was huge. Huge scale Godzilla. He was fun to do. Uh, Mars Attacks, I did. A few of those I did. Mars Attacks. And there's all the stuff that came with the screaming by screaming. That's what they look like. Screaming products. They were. You can still find them out there. Pretty good products. Uh, it's just a pamphlet. Model kits. And polar lights. All the polar lights kits are in this pamphlet. Save that. Uh, the Phantom with the native voodoo witch doctor. Did that. This is just another screaming advertisement. The Tom Baker, the Who... Patrick Throat Fort and the Pooh, these things. The Derek. Star Trek I did. McCoy. I did all the McCoy uh Star Trek figures in one six fig figure figure, twelve inches high. Did Scotty, I could see him from here. Uh, Kirk, McCoy, and Dr. Spock. And Mr. Spock. And I did the garage kit from Monsters and Motions. The creature that walks among us. 
this side of the saucer man he was cool to do he's all vinyl and green and uh got him off of ebay you should still find some of these kits on ebay i did uh firewood smoky and the bandit here's another screaming uh attacking martian model i did fun to do really enjoyed enjoyed doing these i like these old garage kits you can find garage kits on like etsy and uh they're not made out of resin some of them they're mostly made out of pla 3d printing this um that garage kit let me see this one i think i got on ebay and uh this one i got from monsters in motions i wish this pamphlet was a little bit better but this was the omega man and it, um it's all resin model and it's like 12 inches tall well, it's huge i really love that making that a lot i did a landing ship tank here's uh oh i should put that with the other pamphlet creatures walks among us here's the pamphlet that came with it so i i could switch it over let's see pull that out i'm gonna pull that out and just put that with the other uh alpha centauri ufo you can get a lighting kit from uh tenant controls for this but it's very very difficult to put together um i don't recommend it but i wish there was a simpler lighting kit for this because they're they're really cool little ufo saucers with a little alien inside war of the worlds that's the new style there's an old style somewhere here my favorite martian i did he's right up here in front of me ufo that lights up i put nine volt to it and got all the lights to light up with diodes inside that was pretty easy to do and uh red baron these were cool the uh propeller turns and he has a battery inside really fun to do i did snoopy and i did uh snoopy his head turns and his wheels spin there's some more snoopy stuff I did the the other Snoopy plane. It's called the uh, Shop With Camel. I did this one I, from Ed Roth, Angel Fink. Really cool kit to do. Very cool kit. And ice hockey I did, and and Talos. Talos is a is a figure I did. Um, from Monsters in Motion, and uh, I think he's still available. He's about eight inches tall, got a ship and everything. There's the ice hockey one. And Wednesday, I just did that model just recently. Um, and again, Monsters in Motion, the Hunchback, really excellent, excellent kit. This one is that one came out really, really well. <coughs> And then the mutant did the mutant with the girl, and here's Joe Cool on his on his surfboard. I did him. He's in the kitchen. And then I did um, Vampira. She was fun to do glow in the dark. That was from Colt Man TV, Colt TV Man. I always get that mixed up. I don't know why. War of the Worlds. Here's the old style War of the Worlds. That's what he looked. That's what it looked like. And here's the thing that go. Here's the instructions. So instructions I gotta pull out. Fix that one too. So it's a good. You know I could fix this as I go along because I want to put everything together. Uh, Cyclops chariot with the Cyclops and the Wonder Woman and the astronaut. He's fun to do. I didn't think he would be fun to do. Do but it's fun to do. But um, that's it. Um, you know, I have some of these. I have more models than what I have in instructions. And I don't have the instructions for them. And you know what? I know which ones I don't have the instructions for. I'm going to make a list. Um, I don't know if I can get the instructions on for them, actually. I got three Stooges. I got some other. Um, the Mummy. 
I've got Son of Frankenstein in front of me. I've got um, Alien Sigourney Weaver with short hair in front of me. I'm not looking. So that's the book. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to fix those other two pages now. And thanks for watching. Please give me the thumbs up. Rate and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.